Hey everybody, how's it going out there? It's been a few days since I've been on. Thought I better do a uh, little bit of a catch up here. I'm doing this via the YouTube capture because I'm not sure when I'll be able to be home and uh, actually put this in the computer and add any titles or anything. So you get what you get on this one. Uh, I was watching uh, one of um, Skeletal Piper's videos the other day and he was talking about he had some black magic woman from uh, Just For Him. And I'd heard of Just For Him before. I'd been on their website. I think Danny Shore actually sent me a, a sample of something from there. Um, but uh, Skeletal Piper mentioned that it's in Springfield. And I was like, I never, I didn't even think about looking to see where it was. And I'm like, well, we take crews to Springfield on a fairly regular basis. And so, uh, guess what? Yesterday, I was not supposed to go to Springfield. As I get out to pick up a crew, I'm supposed to bring them back to Tulsa. They call me and say, no, take them on to Springfield. You know what I'm thinking the whole way? Look up just for him. Where are they? So I went by just for him. And I got a little baggie opening here. Is this what um, El, Magnifico, El Magnifico calls a yabs or something? Yet another bag showing or yet another sack showing? Yaz or I don't know. Anyway, so I just picked up a couple of things there. I went in. I was not, since I was not supposed to go there and I was already, I may have accidentally worked a few hours more than I should have, but... Um, so I just ran in, I spent maybe 10 minutes there, and it was it was actually pretty amazing. It was a pretty cool shop. I'd like to go back when I've got, you know, an hour to spend there. They had a great smoking lounge. They had a ton of pipe stuff. Cigars, uh, and then stuff that are that's just for him. And so they had table I had a couple of tables just full of Nording pipes out there. They had a whole wall full of tin tobacco. I mean about everything Sammy G and Dunhill, all the Frog Mortons, um, I mean, everything out there. And so, and then they had a huge wall of their bulk blends that they do. And so, and it's, and it may be, if you've ever been in there, some of you guys who have good local B&M pipe shops like that close by, you may think, oh, this is nothing. You ought to see the shop we go to. Well, let me tell you, I was like a kid in a candy store there. It's like, ooh, I want this, I want that. Give me this, give me some of that. You know, and uh, it's like, well, I wish I had about $1,000 to spend in there. So anyway, I did pick, I did not get $1,000 for this stuff. I did pick up some stuff. Um, and I'm going to show you a couple things here. Well, how about I show you all of what I got. And on their pipes, <clears throat> they had anything, they had like, Basket pipes for whatever, $25, basket pipes for $35, basket pipes for $45, and then they started, you know, other pipes all the way up into about any price range you can imagine that you could think you might want. And so I got me another little basket pipe. I probably shouldn't have because I didn't even check it out. Again, I was like a kid in a candy store. It's like a feeding frenzy. You give me this, give me this, give me that. And so I just thought, that kind of looks cool. $25, I'll pick it up. It's a little no name. It has, on the bottom it says Italy and that's it. Other than that, I mean, I didn't even pull the stem off. It may not even have a draw hole as far as I know. Yeah, it does. Uh, but I didn't check it. I didn't look at it. I just thought, oh, that's pretty cool. 25 bucks, I'm gonna go ahead and pick it up. So a little rusticated, nice wide stem on there. I'm finding I like those really wide stems. And so this, I'm not for sure what that is. I think I'm gonna see if I can take my polishing, put the polishing wheel on my Dremel and see if I can polish that up. It's kind of dull. It may not even, it may be, it feels kind of metal. It may be plastic, I don't know. But anyway, I thought, ah, 25 bucks, I'm gonna pick it up. Uh, if I don't like it, I didn't, you know, I didn't do, you know, spend 500 on it and lose a whole lot. And then I did pick up a couple of ounces, I don't know whether you can read that, of the Black Magic Woman. And so, because Hillman said that he really liked it. Uh, I think it smells a lot like, uh, almost like a lot of Black Cavendish, I'm betting is what that is in there. But 
I think I'm picking up a little bit of uh, Latakia in there. I don't know. And I didn't even think about looking for like a menu, see if they had a menu of all this. I mean, that was like, I got to get in, I got to get out and get back on the road again. So once I have more time to spend in there, that would be uh, really cool. Uh, I did pick up a can of, or a tin, can tin of the Frog Morton Cellar. So I haven't tried it yet, so I'm looking forward to trying it. And I just got these last night. Uh, I haven't even opened any of them um, yet, so I will be doing that before too long. Uh, picked up a tin of, boy, that sun is really bright over there. Picked up a tin of the Escudo. Because I already know, uh, the Major Pipe sent me a uh, sample of this, and I already know I like it. So I went ahead and picked up a tin of that. And then I picked up a tin of Pelican. And I can't remember whether I've had a sample of this or not. I don't think I have. But everybody keeps talking about how great it is, so I thought, well, I'll try it. And if I don't like it there's plenty of you guys out there who do I'll send it on and uh, somebody out there will like it and so but that's the only three I've been they had I mean they had multiple multiple tins of everything out there so I didn't see a whole lot of McBaron but again I didn't have a whole lot of time to look they had the Orlick Golden Slice they had the uh, again a full line of Sammy G in there a full line of about anything Dunhill um, I mean, I, there's just so many, I can't even think of all of them now. So, anyway, I'll have fun trying all of these guys. Um, just had a couple of minutes here before I go for another pickup. Thought I'd show you some goodies that I'll be looking forward to trying. The only one of these I've ever had is the Escudo. And again, I know I like it. but And the prices are fairly reasonable. Uh, I think every single one of these tins... Well, no, a little bit cheaper there. We're between eleven fifty and twelve bucks. So uh, maybe a little bit more than if you bought it online. But if I were to buy just this amount online, I would have had to pay shipping, and so it would have about evened out by the time I paid tax here. So I figure it's not too bad of a deal. So if I'm ordering a hundred bucks or more get free shipping then it might be worth it to get it online but hey being able to pick it up being able to be the kid in the candy store going ooh, let me touch and feel everything and so again I want to go back next time I'm there hopefully it'll be a planned trip where I've got more time to spend there and so uh, anyway that's it guys I'll catch y'all next time just thought I'd put up a quick video of course my quick video you know how that goes that's eight minutes long so Thanks for hanging out. I appreciate everybody. Appreciate all my new subscribers out there. Appreciate everybody watching and commenting. And uh, I'll catch you all next time. Have a good one.